Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you wore green. It is a little cloudy out there, but some breaks in sun here and there. Out across the Harbor Bridge and over Corpus Christi and South Texas on this Sunday evening. Mostly cloudy on SPID right now. A 65 degree reading on our thermometer. High temperature was 65, so we're slowly starting to cool down with our high temperature of 65. Dew point is at 40, so we're starting to build in humidity just a tad. We have that southeast wind starting to kick back up some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico at about 7 to 10 miles per hour. So here's the forecast. It all starts with some showers, mostly cloudy with isolated showers. Not expecting uh, a soaker into tomorrow or even tonight for that matter. And first day of spring is on its way for Wednesday. And next weekend, we're going to see some more coverage as far as rain is concerned and also some thunderstorm potential in the forecast. But in the meantime, it is pretty cool out there. Not too bad. 60s all across the map. The cool spot right now, Hebronville clocking in at 59 degrees right now, 64 in Falfiris and 63 over in Mathis. In current radar, there are some returns heading through Mathis just north of Sinton and pushing through George West and through Bee County. However, they're just isolated light patchy showers for the most part, not expecting a soaker and expanding the view. There is some rain out in West Texas, just off the mountains of Mexico and in the Gulf of Mexico. And there's high pressure in mainly control right now. And uh, temperatures are pretty uniform across the Lone Star State. 60s in the Panhandle, 60 in Corpus Christi and 65 over in San Antonio. So what to expect tonight? Mainly clouds can't rule out an area of light drizzle and light rain through the overnight hours into your Monday morning. But mainly cloudy. We are seeing a lot of cloud cover coming from the southwest. And if you take a look at satellite imagery, a lot of the clear skies is just north of that I-10 corridor. Dallas from San Angelo to Lubbock, they're seeing sunny skies and very spring-like uh, temperatures out to the north. But we're just locked under this stubborn cloud cover. And if you want to know why, it's all thanks to something we call the subtropical jet in meteorology. It's just uh, moving in from the southwest. It's just pushing and uh, really uh, channeling all this Pacific moisture our way. Not necessarily a lot of rainfall to speak for, but we'll continue to have these uh, rainfall chances in the forecast into the next couple of days. A lot of it will stay south of Corpus Christi in the Rio Grande Valley and uh, parts of Willacy County and down towards Brownsville. However, we just stay locked into the cloud cover for the next couple of days. Rain out to our east and also west, uh, mainly dry for Monday. But Tuesday and Wednesday come around and something starts to build out to the west. This nice little dip in the upper level flow. This provides energy, uh, upper level low is what we call it. And what's going to do is provide some instability that will work its way through next week and starting on Friday. And that will have the opportunity at some scattered showers in the mix from Friday into Saturday afternoon. So here's that seven day, mainly cloudy for the next couple days into Monday, cooler as well. Temperatures starting your day off in the upper 40s, low 50s. Gradual warm up, best rain chance will be on Tuesday into Wednesday, which is, matter of fact, the first day of spring. Officially, spring equinox is at 4.58 p.m. And then another good chance of rain next weekend on Friday and Saturday. Expect scattered showers. Temperatures warm, though, in the mid to upper 70s. All right, keep it here on 3 News. That's it for the weather forecast. Travis Green with sports. He's up next.